Well, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Esso Land is the only place you can have Royal Ascot and Christmas races at the same time. And this is the Christmas hurdle, and it's a grade two, three mile hurdle. Full court press for Joshua Sutherland, Arabian Knights for Daniel French, Fred for David Robertson, Jafonian Ryan Costello, Olas Tin for Darren Thompson, Opera House for Kevin Meehan, Out of the Gloom, John Morgan, Westwire Rush for Martin Leadham, Yeomanry Implication, and Esther Tide Jubilate for Hems, Flaky Duffcott for Graham Clutterbuck, Florence for Kevin Meehan, Honey Honey for Graham Clutterbuck, Lateral Thinking, and a Night and day for Leon van Rensburg and Rocky Tattle for David Robertson. Where are they going? And this three mile hurdle. Pretty small looking hurdles as they take the first one, they're all safely over it. As you'd expect with Olas Tin, the early leader. Oh, out of the gloom, I think they might both be new as they take the second. In Honey Honey and Jephonian, lateral thinking is next, and Flaky Duffcott as they sort themselves out and take this pretty sharp looking left-handed turn and could catch a few out later on. The one that's been caught a little bit wide this time is Arabian Nights. Had plenty of time to make up the ground and Honey Honey has swept through into a two-length lead from Olas Tin in second. Then out of the gloom is third. Westwire Rush has moved up into fourth. Then Yeoman Implications after that one. Jephonian's wide on the track. Then the black and red hoops of full court press as they take the third of the 14. And then all over that one nicely with the grey. Florence just a back mark of the other grey. to tie Jubilate towards the back as well. And it's Honey Honey in front by about three. To out of the gloom in second on the outside of all as tin. Then Westwire Rush, Jephonian, and a Yeoman Implication virtually in a line with full court press behind them as they take the fourth. They're all safely over that one as well, passing a little section of crowd who are nowhere near the finish. I can't quite figure out what's going on there. Well, they're all standing there, but that must be a particularly interesting spot to stand for some reason. Anyway, Honey Honey's the leader and skips over the fifth. So if you have that one with Rocky Tattle now taking a turn at the back hand. Honey Honey in front then from. Out of the gloom, some five lengths back in second. Jephonian in the pale jacket on the outside, being trapped by West by Rush. Over on the rail is Olas Tin with tracking that one Fred. They start to sweep round into the straight big sweeping turn this one. And there. Over that next hurdle. Honey Honey's in the lead from Out of the Gloom and Olas Tint. Full court presses after that one. And well inside the final couple of miles now. And they're quite well strung out as well with Honey Honey in front, leading by about four. Out of the Gloom just been pushed along to go a little bit quicker. And Olas Tin and full court press after that one with Westwire Russian Fred and Jephonian. Night and Day's getting a bit closer as they take the seventh. They're all over that one, okay. And towards the back, Flaky Duffcott and Rocky Tattle are at the back. Kevin Minahan pair just in front of them, Opera House and Florence as they come up past the big screen. And past the winning post shortly. There it is. There's the tote board as well. And they now make their way out for another complete circuit of the track. And Honey Honey is in the lead. Out of the gloom is second, and Olas Tin is third. West by Rush is four, and Fred is five. Then Jephonian six, Night and Day seven, then Esther Tide Jubilate and Full Court Press, and then Arabian Nights and Lateral Thinking with Yeomanry Implication for Florence after that one. And then Opera House, and finally Flaky Duffcott and Rocky Tattle as they take the eighth, and they're all still standing and hurdling well. And Honey Honey Ooh, made a mistake there that time and got away with it. The leader's diminished down to a couple of lengths after that. But he's still in front. On last tin, he's second. The David Robertson pair are moving up in tandem, aren't they? There, are they not? That's not a David Robertson pair. I took the colours there. Lack of purple hoops <laughs> out of the gloom. Just momentarily obscured, but it's Honey Honey in the lead then from Out of the Gloom second. Then Olas Tin and Fred. Westwire rushes next, being trapped by the pair of Leon van Rensburg horses. And on this near side full court press as they take the 10th. And they're all over that one with Kevin Minahan pair now at the back. Florence and Opera House. Well, Arabian Nights is also dropping back a little bit, but it's Honey Honey in front then, as they're inside the final mile now, and Honey Honey in the lead from out of the gloom second, lateral thinking on the outside, Esther Todd Jubilate has crept through from last into a decent looking position as they take the 11th, and a mistake there by 
out of the gloom of seeing that one slip down into the pack as we pass this little group of people facing the racing the wrong way really and then honey honey's in the lead so honey honey now being pressed by esther Ty jubilee lateral thinking on the outside then on us tin out of the gloom trying to get back into it again then fred and west wire rush and night and day as they take the third from home and now the lead changes hands for the first time and esther Ty jubilee goes on from lateral thinking in second honey honey is third gap back to all has tin and out of the gloom trying to get back into it night and day and fred rocky tattle is coming through with a bit of a run west wire rush is under pressure Arabian Nights is well out of it at the back. But it's Esther Ty Jubilate and lateral thinking then. Who are going for home. Honey Honey is under pressure now. Full Gort Press is trying to run on. So's out of the gloom. Hollis Tin's dropping back as they take the second from home. And Esther Ty Jubilate's got a length up. Esther Ty Jubilate from lateral thinking in second. Then Full Gort Press is third. Out of the gloom is four. Then comes Honey Honey and Rocky Tattle. After that one is Fred Night and Day. Florence is beaten as well. Well, they're racing down towards the final flight then now. And Esther Ty Jubilate is being pressed by lateral thinking on the outside it's lateral thinking then coming through to challenge for the lead lateral thinking and Esther Ty Jubilate will caught this final flight together it's kind of going down they're jumping over it they go they both jumped it well in third place is full court press out of the glimpse trying to run on but it's lateral thinking who's beginning to pull away Esther Ty Jubilate's got no more to give and it's going to be lateral thinking who's going to race into the final half for them with a clear lead and up towards the line it's going to be another one for Leon by Redsburg at the post it's lateral thinking wins it full court press second Esther Ty Jubilate third then out of the gloom yeoman implication finished well the last one to finish is going to be Arabian Nights and it's two races today, two wins for Leon van Rensburg and give him the title now he's took that one pretty comfortably from his main challenger for that title Joshua Sutherland in second so lateral thinking for Leon van Rensburg the winner full court press for Joshua Sutherland second Esther Tide Jubilate for Hems was third out of the gloom for John Morgan fourth and night and day for Leon van Rensburg was fifth